Hey guys, so today's video I figured I would do because a lot of you guys were asking me if I was still natural and I haven't done a natural video since I believe like January, it might have been like January, February around that time. So I figured I'd give you guys like a quick update letting you guys know what I've been doing with my hair and just um, the products I've been using with it and if I'm still natural and things like that. So for starters, I am still natural. The last time I got a relaxer was in September of 2014. And so it's almost been a year now, not technically a year. And also in September of 2014, I hadn't had a relaxer um, since I believe it was like October or September of 2013. So it's been like yearly, but it's almost been a year now since my last relaxer and I am really, really set on not getting a relaxer again. I haven't seen any positive benefits from it the last time I got it. And in fact, I feel like with being um, ending my pregnancy, because it, it was like the month after I gave birth, as well as um, also adding the relaxer to it, I felt like it broke off a lot of my hair, especially in the front. So I am like dead set on not getting relaxers anymore. In fact, I don't even like um, my hair bone straight anyways, except for like if it's like, um, weaves or extensions or things like that. I don't mind that, but um, when it comes to my own natural hair, I just feel like I need body and volume and things like that. And um, just relaxers were just making it too bone straight to the point where it was like, it felt like it was just like nothing, like really thin. So it wasn't something I um, want to do again with my hair. And as of now, I'm almost, it's almost gonna be a year until um, I've had my last relaxer. So I've almost been a year natural. So the last time I got a relaxer, I'd actually cut my hair at the same time. And I cut it up to um, my ear and um, it, it was just so short. And on top of it, I didn't wanna be um, straightening it so much and things like that. So I had actually started just braiding it up and just wearing um, a lot of wigs. So I'd say from like October all the way till now, I have just been strictly wearing wigs. And if I'm not wearing wigs, like it will probably be like a day or two in between like the days I'm about to wash my hair well, I'll where I'll take it out and sometimes it'll be like in a bun and then um, like the next day I'll wash it but basically most of the time my hair is in wigs. I've noticed that I actually like the curly wigs a lot better though because since my hair is more natural it's easier to kind of have it blend in with my own hair in the front like anything I leave out I find it like it looks a lot more natural when I use um, you know, curly wigs instead of like this wig right here. And plus on top of it, I'm actually loving how I am able to rock any type of color I want. Before, um, I wanted to always wear blonde hair, but I knew that I couldn't do it because I was afraid of bleaching my own natural hair and having a relaxer on top of it. Yeah, wigs definitely help to just bring out my creativity of my hair a little bit more because in the fall, I want to do red hair and I'm not going to be dying or anything, to, uh, anything like that to my natural hair. So wigs are definitely all in. I highly recommend that if you're trying to go natural. It helps a lot. In fact, my own natural hair, I have seen it grow a lot. The last time I got my hair cut, it was right below my ear. And then the last time I did my lymph check, it was right, I'd say like right around here. So it has grown a lot. And I'm just really happy with how much it has been growing. Um, I think it, it has been growing a lot faster than when I've gotten relaxers. So I'm definitely you know, happy to see the progress that it has been going by being natural. Now when it comes to shampooing and conditioning my hair, I actually will use anything with herbal essence. So this right here is the um, Blowout Smooth um, Smoothing Conditioner. I just grabbed any type of conditioner from Herbal Essences to be honest. I like the um, Curly Shampoo of Curly, uh, Curly, Herbal Essences. And um, I like the, um, the conditioner for that one as well but they didn't have that when I went to the other Walmart like I went to a different Walmart and they didn't have it so I just got another herbal essence box but anything herbal essences with their shampoos and conditioners and then when it comes to deep conditioning my hair I still like to use um, ORS's deep conditioner I usually would get those little packets so I'll end up getting like four for the month instead of buying like the bottle for some reason I feel like it lasts better and I'm able to get more payout with just using the packets than like that bottle I don't know why I just rather doing get those packets from like Walmart so I'll get like four for the month and then every week I'll do a deep condition on my hair and then I will just braid it back up and then tie it up if I'm going to sleep or just put a wig on it for the rest of the day but that's really all I do with um, 
my hair. I also will like um, put light oils in it. Like I have an argan oil that I'll put in once a week or like whenever I feel like it's getting dry. Or I have like an olive oil that I'll put in there as well from ORS. I'll use their olive oil lotion. But I try not to use their olive oil lotion too much because I feel like it is a little heavy on my hair. But other than that, um, that's all I put in my own natural hair. Nothing too crazy. And I feel like it has been helping it to grow a lot. So also, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but I have been trying to go one year without um, putting any heat on my hair at all. One time I did end up using the blow dryer, but um, I didn't use it too much and it didn't really do anything to my hair anyway. But since then I haven't been using any heat products or anything like that on my hair. So in September, I believe, or I'm gonna do it maybe October 1st, something like that. I'm going to do um, a video showing you guys how my hair is because I do have a video showing the last time it was straight. And I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how it looks a year after being straight and the length that it has. And just doing like a length check video for you guys. So that should be like around October 1st, I think I'll do it because that'll be better and more of a full year, I feel like. Yeah, that's really it for my natural hair update. If you guys have any comments or questions, definitely put it in the comment box below. But yeah, that's about it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.